Hello GCC Chemistry 130 students. We're now going to talk about molarity, which is the second way to calculate concentration of a solution. Now the mass mass percent ways largely used by hospitals and so nursing students, you're going to see that a lot. Molarity is used by chemists and physicists and scientists. So this is the way that we calculate concentration. Now molarity is a capital pointy M as I said and the units are going to be in moles per liter. Now that's moles of the solute per liters of the solution. So moles per liter, moles of solute per liters of solution. So let's go straight to an example. Calculate the molarity if 9.99 grams of potassium bromide is dissolved in water to make 2.50 liters of solution. Now Let's think about molarity. It was moles per liter. I gave you liters, 2.50 liters of solution. I did not give you moles, and I'm not going to. Instead, I gave you grams. Can we go from grams to moles? Absolutely we can. We've been doing that for a couple of chapters now. So we have 9.99 grams of potassium bromide. So you need to know what potassium bromide is. What's potassium? Okay, what's bromide stand for? BR. Now is it K2Br, KBr2? We got to figure out the formula for KBr. Is it how many Ks and how many Brs? So what's the charge on K? Column 1 plus 1. Very good. Br column 7 minus 1. So we have a plus 1 minus 1 ionic compound, metal and a non-metal, plus one, minus one, that adds up to zero already, so it is just one K and one Br. Now, to go from grams to moles, what do we need? I hope you said molar mass. Molar mass is great. Where do we get molar mass? Yes, if you said the table, yes, from the table. So how many Ks do we add up? One K, and how many Brs? Just one Br, because we already figured out the formula is KBr, not K2Br or KBr2. It's one to one, plus one minus one. So we need to add up K39.10 and Br79.90. Add those together to get your molar mass. So we have 9.99 grams of KBr. One mole of KBr added up to be 119.00 grams. Don't forget the point zero zero because we're adding and we keep our two decimal places. So it really is 119.00566. So 9.99 grams times one divided by 119 gives us 0 0.08395 moles. Notice I kept an extra digit there. I did that because that's not my final answer. So keep a few extra digits or just keep it in your calculator. Now we have our molarity. Uh, which is moles per liter. So we take our 0 0.08395 moles, divide by the 2.50 liters, we get our moles per liter, which is 0 0.0336. That's the final answer. That is the one that I round to three sig figs. So again, I'm going to give you grams, so you're going to have to change from grams to moles using molar masses from the table. Okay, I'm not going to give you moles, I'm going to give you grams. So you've got to go from grams to moles, take that moles, divide by the liters. Then you get your moles per liter. All right, good job. Um, we have time for one more. Let's try this one. Calculate the molarity if 5.0 grams of sodium phosphate is dissolved in water to make 255 milliliters of solution. Wow, this one's tough. I didn't give you moles. I didn't even give you liters. I gave you milliliters. So. Let's worry about sodium phosphate first. What is sodium? Symbol. Na. Very good. What is phosphate? Well, that's not an element. In fact, it's one of our polyatomic ions. It's here. It's PO4. What's the charge on sodium? It's plus one. What's the charge on phosphate? Minus three. So we have a plus one, minus three combination. That doesn't add up to zero. What do I need to make that add up to zero? Okay, I'm going to need a plus 3 to go with the minus 3. That means I need 3 sodiums. So it's going to be Na3PO4. So that's what I need to add up to get a molar mass. Because I have grams and I need to go to moles. So I need a molar mass. So I need to add up 
three NAs, one P, and four O's. So I need to add those up in my calculator. Go ahead and do that. Pause and see if you can finish the rest of this problem from here. That would be a great idea. See if you can finish this problem on your own. Okay, I hope you hit pause and gave it a try. So hopefully you've added up your Na3PO4. And you got 163.94 grams in that mole. So we have our 5.0 grams of sodium phosphate times one mole over 163.94 grams. Grams cancel. And we get our moles, which is 0 0.03049896. Again, I kept extra digits because it's not my final answer. So that's my moles. Now I need liters, but I gave you 255 milliliters. How do we go from milliliters to liters? I hope you remember milli means a thousand. So yeah, 255 milliliters and one liter contains a thousand milliliters. Milliliters cancel. So we got liters over a thousand milliliters. So the milliliters cancel and that's 0 0.255 liters. Now we've got our moles. We've got our liters. So 0 0.03049896 moles divided by 0 0.255 liters. This is the final answer. So we have to round to the correct number of sig figs, which is two because of the 5.0 grams has two sig figs, we go with the least. So 0 0.12 moles per liter is the final answer. All right, 0 0.12 moles per liter. All right, that wraps up chapter 15. So if you have any questions, make sure you go to tutoring, email your instructor, email me, message your instructor through Canvas, message me if you're in my class through Canvas. Um, good luck. Thank you for watching.